The Guyana Power and Light Inc. GPL says the power ship has successfully increased its generation output to 35 megawatts to the Demerara Burbies Interconnected System, DBIS. According to the company, a capacity test was completed on Monday confirming the power ship is now at its maximum capacity of 36 megawatts. This boost will likely see a reduction in service interruptions previously experienced by the company's more than 200,000 customers. The Guyana Power and Light has been grappling with a spate of blackouts, with the government and opposition trading blame on the reasons behind the many issues plaguing the power company. Late last year, the government had invested US $27.5 million to procure 17 generator sets that was expected to provide some 28.9 megawatts of electricity to the national grid. However, despite the accusation, customers were forced to put up with the regular blackouts. President Irfan Ali in early April traded the blame for the frequent blackouts. The problem is uh, multifaceted. The first issue is that we're dealing with a very aged infrastructure. Some of these generators are 30 years old. We're dealing with a situation where for five years, between 2015 and 2020, there was actually no maintenance. So you have the maintenance issue that you have to catch up on. You have aged infrastructure. And then we're dealing with the exponential growth. Days later, former Minister of Public Infrastructure David Patterson, however, called out the government, accusing it of hiding its mismanagement of the power company. We did new generation sets, 63 megawatts. We put in a new generation set in Region 6. Their stronghold, a new generation set in Anna Regina, if you can remember Anna Regina, three in, yeah, they have their Correct. new generation sets in Bartica. We, we put in four to six point megawatt. That's what kept us in, in Garden of Eden. That is what they, they hung on to for the last four years. Vice President Barrage Jaglio, also in early April, while admitting that the situation at the power company was dire, urged Guyanese to be patient. It must be noted though that the 36 megawatts of power from the power ship alone remains inadequate since there continues to be an increasing demand for electricity. Government has since announced that it is looking to acquire an additional 30 megawatts of power to add to the national grid, but did not say when this will be. For AGP Nightly News, I am Daisy Richards.